Hi everybody, welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. My name is Andy and today we play some Art Survival 4 with the Soviet Union. We played uh, till the 30th of January 1941 and I am following the, let's call it historical path with Joseph Stalin. Even if I, I am not really historical when we look at the way I am expanding, I have already the full control of Turkey and Romania. Here I'm going to experience some major issues, say. In particular because it seems... Wow. It seems that I have 15. Control and click to assign and control and right click to select the assign. So Blazov somehow has uh, groups around the border I don't like the way mm, I don't like the way this border is defended so we are going to move a little bit our troops and then we are going also to build and that's not gonna be seen okay I'm already working on this um, because actually I wanted to have wanted to have a, a better railroad in Romania because as you can see my supply lines are not as, as so efficient as I would like to let's put it this way okay here I could use another field marshal as a yielding defender with Budioni okay Let me have a look, since at the moment my fleet is... I mean, I'm not going to use that much the fleet, but... I keep building submarines, maybe I could move uh, uh, into destroyers. For the time being, I keep only two dockyards on submarines and the rest on destroyers. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Okay, very good. And we have a new tank. Now our tanks are increasing in number, but uh, definitely we won't be able to, to push at the very beginning. I, I moved them all uh, close to Königsberg because if I manage to cut this line and reach Danzig, then this is an amazing pocket. Still, I'm not really sure I will manage to achieve it. Okay. Let me see if I can get someone else. Not really. But I need Rokosovsky as soon as I have 200 political points, so I'm going to be patient and wait for that. Great. I'm getting ready for the uh, German invasion, as you can imagine. In the airport of Moscow, I can still deploy some fighters. I could deploy also some cars. Why I don't see them here? Oh, because I, I selected the, by mistake. I selected by mistake the strategic bombers. All right. That we, that we have also some closer support, I feel good. Okay, I'm gonna assign this gun to Shaposnikov. Alright. I'm not gonna work... Um, immediately on the new generation tank so i want to improve also the engine and um, and the armor then we then i will start working on that oh not bad let me see if i can improve my artillery production 
Mm. Well, it's no, this is an anti tank. I, I've just made a, a huge mistake because I lost completely the efficiency. It there was a mistake. All right, now we have a thousand four hundred and thirty six tanks, and we produce 13 a day, which means that I can add definitely another five tank divisions and keep producing tanks they will they will be very useful during the war nope let's go directly to the new tank and let's let's continue now i believe that i have uh, completed the third year's plan if i increase the state reserve uh, reserves i get resource gain efficiency plus 10 percent but that's not what i really need armenia and murmansk i also don't need this I could get here some consumer good factories minus 2% or civilian factory constructions minus 5 and military plus 10. Uh huh. Production efficiency and retention versus output. Honestly speaking, do I need so much production? Or should I maybe focus on the army? Like, superior war machines. We have the T-34. Well, that's that's not bad. Based on improved medium tank chassis. Let's go on this one. I have already the improved medium. Right? Yeah. Very good. Let's now get uh, Rokosovsky on board. It's going to provide us with a 15% uh, attack. Uh, uh, all right. And what I could, what I could do. Now I'm thinking. Would it be that bad if I also enter a tank division here? <laughs> That's probably it. Probably makes no sense at all. But that would increase the. The, that would increase our infantry really, really a lot. Uh, what I want to do, actually, jokes aside, I want to put the anti-air uh, anti in our infantry. We need another 2,000 units there. All right. So let's be patient and do it. Let's wait for it. It's April. The war is about to start. Here we are not doing much better. Well, because uh, we are still fortifying the borders. Uh, all those regions on the border are going to have round about three levels of force. And now that I see Hungary is not doing well at all, so Golikov will abandon the fallback line here. And he's going to move on the uh, Hungarian border. I would consider the Bulgarian border fine. The, the other border with Italy is also fine. All right, and maybe I can. Well, I, I can I can leave here some fallback lines. And now the Germans are preparing. Okay, they're getting ready. Let's get more organization on tanks and infantry. And let's increase our chances, maybe. Mm, it's my May 41. Everything looks good here. Everything looks okay here. Let's move to engineering. I would go for the radar. Or even, even easier. Let's uh, use the construction four. Then we switch. We stop producing the T thirty two, and we switch the T thirty four, which is going to be much better. Even if now uh, you can see, I have a lot of. No, I had a lot of medium tanks, but 
I'm going to probably say that's enough. We must have peace for now. I don't want to have uh, to have a war against Japan. And another thing that I want to do now, if I look at the NTR 2008, 2800, that's not bad. It means that we need another 1200 support and anti-air. And we are going to do it. Because we are going to replace, I mean, yeah. Three, four months. That's, that's okay. That's, that's totally fine. Alright. Uh, my spies are all in Germany. That's going to help. I will start also the cryptology on Germany. Should have done it earlier. I think that more or less, okay, now we are... Um, probably what I have to do is to have to take Timoshenko. Oh shit, really. Timoshenko had this very strange um, setup. Uh, some people are in the north and some people are in the south. Not really happy that now I stopped. Okay, let's do one thing. I have to redo the fallback line, right? Yeah, this is the this is the area that I want to. Protect. Right. All of them go here. And we also start working on the infrastructure in Finland. And this guy here, which is uh, Bedjuninski, moves directly on the German border. I'm not using the field marshals to give to give the orders. I'm not doing that. I don't consider it efficient. Now, um, they're justifying against us. I think that we have around about two months of time or maybe a little bit less so i'm going to train my troops until they don't reach the so the their, their level the regular level but i need still some patience and i'm getting also the advanced light tank because it will create some um flamethrower light tanks modern and i think that i will attach them Stop. They're going to attack us now. You have to stop immediately. He's training. Organize and we start digging our trenches. Good. Perfect. All right. Solid artillery. Uh, military factory. Modify defense industry by breakthrough plus 5% artillery defense plus 5. Which is not bad. How are we doing with our resources? Everything looks good. So let's move now to the tank production. We take the T T34, which is having two persons i have i have now a three i have the improved ma medium cannon which is amazing then we have the sloped armor which is increasing by 25 percent the armor wow 89 armor it's oh, this is unbelievably cool um diesel is giving more reliability but then i would prefer to do the following um a wet ammunition storage a radio number two, because it's giving us defense plus 30, 40% and breakthrough plus 25. In my opinion, this is really good. 
and the cost is cost is a lot really max speed armor production output armor okay well that's not bad now let's save the t34 let's pick the t now let's do it again 32a and switch them now i'm still training some old tanks but uh, from now on every tank that is built will just uh, replace the t32 and they use the t32 as a let's say to fill up uh, the, the the lines okay all right i think that i i feel okay researching the next uh, rifles well guys wish me good luck if i did my calculation right now it should be easy but if i didn't i will fail really in, in a miserable way right so let's keep our fingers crossed all right So I created some different groups of fighters. I'm going just to assign them to every army. They're not that many, unfortunately. They're not that many. Those are also fighters, okay? Perfect. And now we have to take the the cast, which are all here, and with them, I think. They will also support Rosukowski and all right. And the war has just started. Curse them. So let's have a look at uh, at, at the, the old story now. As you can see, the Germans are pushing in different directions, and uh, Rokosowski is struggling to defend. So, by the way, let's give a last uh, a tough defense. Wherever I see my general suffering, I will, I will give the order. What's going on here? Oh yes, clean time. But as you can see, in the south we are doing pretty well. And by the way, I show you one thing: Ponev is uh, benefiting by the from the fort. Is getting surrounded, but uh, um, we have air superiority and we are using the railway gun so this is helping let me check the air superiority well this looks particularly strange but it seems that our fighter radars and anti-air uh, keep for the time being our line which is incredible and we are not yet in war with Vichy. we are not yet in war with bulgaria so that's also very good I impose now. I keep the speed at three. Okay, now Bulgaria is in a war against us. Let me take glass off. Oh, I can't do it. Not enough command power. For real. Okay. Well, that's not good. Huh. And now also Hungary is uh, pushing. And it seems that Hungary here is having a better time. And he can't use the last stand. Okay. Well, it seems that we will need to see if we are lucky or not.
Okay, for example, here we have only two um, uh, troops defending. Uh, that's not the best, to be honest. Let me see if I could use. All right. Uh, that's not that simple, but I am going to to do my best now to keep Mukachevo. Uh, Mukachevo, we are losing. Hmm, it's bad. That's bad. We are losing territory here. We don't have enough troops, probably. All right, but I have enough infantry equipment and tanks, and uh, yeah, let, let's 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 not lose our hopes. Seems that the Germans will, will reach Cluj pretty quickly. Um, so we need to figure out a way uh, to stop them. Because we are blocked basically everywhere. Look at this look here. I have so many troops uh, from Konev that are all consolidating in this region and, and that should not happen, to be honest. Those guys, for example, should be here. Be here on top. That's a pity. And we're doing very well here in the north. Really well, to be honest. Because if I look at the defenses that the Germans have here... Well... Okay. I mean, it's tempting, right? It's very tempting. <laughs> what the actual fuck? I it never happened in my entire life that Germany invaded Riga. I was not aware about that. All right, so. Vatutin moves immediately here and we try to uh, block them before there are too many. Why are they leaving Cluj? I mean that's the most, this is the most important uh, city to defend, I use a fallback line. We're risking here an encirclement. All right, now. Is Fatuti in position? Not yet. Okay, when we'll be in position, we'll see. We, uh, by the way, conquered Königsberg. We could, I think, very easily... I think that can very easily take Dank. Dan This is now a, a, a very small but significant pocket that we do so that Germany is losing some confidence. Mm, where's Vatutin? I, I always lose him. Yeah, let's go. Let's push my friend. Maybe I can bring a Rokosovsky there, but not that sure. Funny uh, that, <laughs> that those guys are resisting here. I'm expecting an encirclement and a pocket really very, very soon, but, um, well, let's do our best to um, re up our way. We have encircled four divisions and we are now 
a siege in Gdansk. And Yegava and Riga belt. So as soon as this part is done, I will move Rokosovsky here so that he can support our friend uh, Vatutin. Alright, so. Not bad. Okay, here, the, the, the encirclement actually happened, unfortunately. Okay. Ah, we, we missed the dance, we, we didn't match. Right, let's move let's move the heavy tanks now and get rid of this huge pocket that the Germans created themselves. If I reach Riga, we basically start them to death. We now are getting to Tallinn, they're, they're expanding a lot um, in this area and I would like to avoid uh, the disaster. In Bulgaria and the rest, everything goes pretty well. Here, please stop, please stop. I'm going to do some good convoy raiding in the Mediterranean because I'm also going to uh, really hurt the Italian economy by doing that. I have a pretty good fleet now in the south. Look at this. Let's push here. Let's push through and go to Yagava. And by the way, those guys that here are on the border with Turkey, with um, with Syria, they're not necessary yet because we are not getting declared uh, uh, by. Uh, so at least not immediately by the the, the Vichy France. Uh, so I can use their manpower. And I need to keep an eye always on my rifles and my manpower, but everything looks good because I I did a really good preparation from an industrial perspective, so I'm happy about that. And they got us Tallinn, which is a pity, but... Look at the organization is already shit. Okay, I speed up to level 4. And I can move now to Desperate Measures. Which is going, just for your information, to give us some more mobilization speed and training time and so on and so forth but i'm not going to mobilize any infantry what i have is enough i've done a very big mistake here that's that's a big mistake i've done but now we get to riga and we try to of them. Okay, our boy is almost there, Chibisov, with his greens. They're not even praying, guys, man. We lost completely our border. The Hungarian front is not uh, that cool, I would say. But it is as it is now, right? Oh! I forgot the technology. Let's close the industrial one. Because it's 41, so we need to get as much as possible. And we have also some free civilian factories right now. Okay. It seems that we can... Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we can block the Germans here in the north and let them suffer a lot of attrition, as I expected. Uh, I don't know why I'm improving Murmansk, but yes, I can do it. Mm, one thing. 
just for the sake of having everything there with 100% infrastructure. Stop. Let's try now to create some pockets. And we slowly work on this one. But we see the rest of this in the next episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.